Hi, I'm Andy Hawkins, the senior pastor of the Village Church, and I'm here to talk to you about the sermon series that we've been involved in, in the Gospel of John. You know, the Gospel of John is one of the favorite Gospels of uh, most believers. There are so many wonderful stories in the Gospel of John. The issues are so engaging with people, and yet it is a book that is uh, filled with profound theological and biblical insight. It's just one of my favorite books, and it probably is one of your favorites, too. Well, we've been involved in a series entitled Signs of Life, and we've been at it for some time, but the Gospel of John is a lengthy gospel, and so there's plenty of time to get involved in a series and really understand the essence of the gospel as a result. It's interesting, when I study a book of the Bible, I'm usually looking for a purpose statement. And some books of the Bible have a statement like that, and some don't, but the Gospel of John actually does. And so at the end of the Gospel of John, uh, John says that uh, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, but that these signs were written so that you might believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and by believing have life in his name. Uh, well, that purpose statement tells us a lot about the entire book of the Gospel of John. Uh, it's interesting that signs are the essence of how the Gospel of John is organized. Signs are miracles that Jesus does, but signs also signify something. They tell us meaning. They tell us something about the nature of, uh, of why Jesus did what he did and who Jesus actually is. And so the Gospel of John is a book about signs, but it's a book about signs with a purpose so that people would come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. And so that's why we recognize the value of a gospel like this, because it tells something about the person of Jesus as well as the work of Jesus, but it also has the purpose of leading us to trust in Him, to believe in Him, uh, to, uh, and as a result of the uh, text tells us, to have life in His name. And so believing in Jesus brings us an abundant life, and as a result, we have an opportunity to, uh, to really grow in our faith. And that's why the series is called Signs of Life. All the signs or miracles that are described in the Gospel of John lead us to faith in Jesus Christ, and by believing in Him, we can have the abundant life that God has intended for us. We hope that you'll join us on Sunday mornings at 1015 as we continue to pursue the Gospel of John, and uh, you'll find your hearts encouraged as a result.